Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out this week's brand new pair of beta channel insider builds. Build 22621 and 22631.2271 with the update KB5030316. Now once again this week there's not too much happening in the beta channel and that's because things are now starting to settle down for the soon to be released 23H2 feature update. Because in effect, build 22631 is our next feature update. So version 23H2, uh, when it does roll out, will carry the build 22631, currently being tested now in the beta channel. Now, the changes and improvements this week in build 22631 include an existing feature where Microsoft says that uh, the Windows Ink improvements introduced with a previous build that enabled inking directly onto edit fields. Um, this feature is now being temporarily disabled for insiders this week in the beta channel. Um, according to Microsoft, they have to fix some bugs impacting the usability um, of Windows Ink and this experience as they are calling it. Now that's more or less what's new um, when it comes to uh, the actual OS. And uh, over and above that, we get a whole lot of fixes rolling out and mostly for the File Explorer. And that's good to hear because currently in the stable version, as many of you may know, the File Explorer performance isn't up to par. There are a couple of stability issues. We still get flashbangs when we open up, white flashbangs when we open up File Explorer. And there are user reports that the performance and overall usability of the File Explorer is not up to par currently in the stable version. So any fix that could be rolling out or fixes that could be rolling out for the File Explorer in up and coming uh, versions of the OS is always a nice move, as I would say. Now, first of all, um, they fixed an issue where rapidly opening two File Explorer windows might make Explorer.exe crash. So um, that bug should be resolved in the beta channel for this week and they also fixed an issue that could make explorer.exe crash when navigating away from the home so as an example if you um, navigate away from your home page that could cause the file explorer and explorer.exe to crash and, ex and explorer.exe is not only the file explorer it's the shell of the os which means it's the taskbar the start menu the search notifications and so on so um, those are two big stability improvements that um, have been made now for Explorer.exe. And then something else to take note of, they've made a few more fixes to help improve File Explorer launch performance, including fixing a leak which would impact performance over time. And I think that's a key uh, performance fix um, because Explorer.exe, the File Explorer, can take quite a while in some circumstances to open. As I mentioned, there are some performance problems with File Explorer currently that are still prevalent in the stable version. So hopefully these fixes will address any issues now in our next 23H2 feature update. And then just another fix, because there are a couple of other fixes, but just to mention some which I thought you may be interested in. Um, they've also fixed an issue. Um, if we just head quickly to our taskbar settings, where uh, switching... Uh, search to be an icon. So if you change it from search box as an example to search icon only on the taskbar as we can see and as many of you will know um, that could cause explorer.exe to crash once again. So um, a lot going on with File Explorer and explorer.exe the shell of the OS so obviously we hope those performance issues are addressed by the time um, 23H2 does roll out to the general public um, starting possibly the end of this month, moving into October. Now, over and above that, there is a Microsoft Store update. So if you are running version 22308.1401 of the Microsoft Store and higher, you will see the following improvement rolling out, Microsoft says. Um, it's a new Game Pass page. So um, they say that you can explore and subscribe to PC Game Pass or Game Pass Ultimate through uh, the new dedicated page and they say that with this you can learn about game pass benefits like exclusive games deals free perks ea play and more it's also easier to discover jump in and play your next favorite game says microsoft including day one games new games on game pass and a whole lot more so new game pass page is now available as part of the microsoft store update for the beta channels this week and that's more or less what's new and as mentioned uh, things starting to settle down now for 23H2 and as um, said at the start of this video, build 22631 is our next feature update rolling out 
for Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.